Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play X-Wing Alliance with me, Get Daved. Last time we... Oh, we had cause to take up drinking, but this time things are going to be different and better. Hey, little brother, I need your help. Hey, Before little Dad brother. Before Dad and Galen left, Dad gave me permission to work on a new security code system for our cargo storage area records. I figured out a new system that'll work really well. But I managed to trash the old one completely before updating it. Wah, now I have to wah. rebuild the database. To do that, I need to go to each of the affected storage areas and scan every container. With your help, we can get it done twice as fast. And if we do it right away, we can be back before Uncle Anton even realizes we're gone. That's fine with me. Uncle Anton Karen doesn't seem like the understanding type. We're storing the records database she accidentally trashed. I will be your co-pilot in the Sapra, and she will fly the Seal. Great. We will fly together to the three affected cargo storage areas. We must inspect all cargo containers in each area, then return home. Deal. So we're going to be scanning a lot of cargo containers. Which we just keep floating in deep space, which... The, the record has got to be a pretty safe way to deal things, deal with things, like the odds of finding it, of just some random stranger encountering your loot floating in deep space, pretty much zero. Target the nav buoy and we'll be on our way. You got it. Also, I didn't really draw attention to the detail uh, in the first video, but Aaron is in a relationship with a guy named Olin Garn, who is now a Rebel Alliance pilot. And that contact will be useful later I'll on. I'll take the Type G's, you take the Type I's. Uh, okay. Eamon says you did pretty well with the weapons training. I was not satisfied with how I did. great, because things have been heating up out here. Since the Rebels destroyed the Empire's Death Star at Yavin. In the chaos of war, some people are sure to take advantage. As a case in point, our competition with the Varaxo. The Varaxo are the worst. The at Harlequin Station is just the beginning. Yeah, Uncle Anton says Carmen Varaxo is some sort of petty crime lord. And that he's been trying to steal business from us. There's even a rumor that he's blackmailed an Imperial officer. We should not butt heads with this man. We're going to have to be very careful out here. It's nice how they have little things like that conversation just to fill the empty space. And all things uh, said, the story to the game I think is pretty good. One nice thing about uh, YT-1300 Freighter is that it turns in flat arcs. An X-Wing, uh, if you rudder side to side, I use the term rudder even though it's what would be a roll in a normal craft. We're through here, let's go on to the second area. Uh, there's no twist to it whatsoever. In an X-Wing it does roll slightly as you turn to the left or right, which, uh, not the end of the world because you primarily use an X-Wing or an A-Wing or whatever in a dogfight situation. But, uh, the more cumbersome duty associated with freighter missions, it's nice that they have that little difference. Whoa! Got it. Report on primary target. They have started their docking operation. That's my pressure tank. Wait a minute, come on. We've got a trouble, lady. Report on primary target. The curses are up.
They're dead. Let us know what we need to do. I just committed murder. Later. You take the tanks. I'll take the Type J containers. Oh, damn spot. Today I became a man. Kind of gotten in a funky position, so won't you take me to Funky Town? As in X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, your ship turns twice as fast at uh, one-third throttle. Maximum speed, of course, at 100%. Also, one note, um, unlike previous games, explosions do damage in this game, so if you're too close to something when it blows up, uh, you can get hurt by it. So you may recall how I just shot down a ship that was right by a relatively fragile pressure container. That could have ended badly. Um, in other situations, yeah, the explosion would have damaged the pressure container. Could have lost the mission right there, because we wouldn't be able to scan it. Can't scan it if it's dead. The most significant uh, implication of all that is Let me find something here. Uh, firing warheads. Don't let them blow up too close to your ship. Great, just one more area to go. There's a good Donald Draper tagline. Warheads. Eh, why not, actually? Yep, nice and laid back here. Also, pro tip, when your ship's going through hyperspace, it represents a pretty good opportunity to recharge your shields and lasers. You cannot adjust it once you're in hyperspace, but right before you go in you can, so... If you're in a mission where, you know, you need every advantage you can get, Whoa, Razor Fighters. They're not as tough as they sound, but... Oh, you're mine. Unidentified ship, you're trespassing. State your business. Oh, I will get you. I will get you. Yeah, we can. We need to know what's going on here. Well, let's finish what we came here to do. We'll report this to Uncle Anton as soon as we get back. You take the spears, I'll take the boxes. Whoa! Spice! Spice is not nice, despite what you may think. Space cocaine. Yeah, and you realize this storage area has been compromised. That means we will have to move all these containers. Yay! I hope that's Hurry my next finish, mission. Then we'll return home. There we go, there's the one I missed. A full kilometer away. How could I possibly scan it from this range? Okay, we're done. Let's go home. Did we leave that container of spikes here? Nope. I guess we ought to bring it home with us. I'll pick it up. Or we could throw it into the sun. All we need now is to get caught by a random Imperial patrol. <laughs> that would never happen. <laughs> Don't tep fate with such words, Aaron. Alright, and after that... Scanning extravaganza... Excanaganza... We're done the mission. This is 
pretty tricky. The game doesn't have widescreen support, so... Uh-oh. Hmm. Normally that music means a hostile ship. Anyway, the game doesn't have widescreen support, so as I roll my ship, the ratio changes and it's kind of disorienting. It should look normal for you in the recording, though. In all its 640 by 480 glory. Yeah, and if you want to play the game with better graphics, um, you can. It's just to resolve a recording problem, or an encoding problem I have on my end with changing resolutions. And of you course, well. Dark Saber's Ultimate Craft event. Pack is great it for this game's graphics. It certainly sped up the process of restoring the storage container database. And it was really lucky we were there to help her deal with those interlopers. Just think, raiders in one cargo on area, watch. and Miraxo troublemakers at another. This all means the security of our storage areas has been compromised. We will have to relocate all those containers. We the have discovery a discovery of contraband spice in one of those containers was a shock. The Miraxo sure do play dirty. Aaron is filling in Uncle Anton, and we will see what he says. But I will bet he figures out a way to get back at them. I bet Uncle Anton's the one doing it. The guy turned away his own brother. That is a nice souvenir you picked up in the last mission. Probably mercenaries. Probably dead. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh-oh. Uncle Anton is not very happy with us. Okay. I had better turn the volume down on this one. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Uncle Anton is unhappy.